What's up guys and gals, welcome back to G5 Higher Purpose Gaming. I hope my mic is working, let me just check real quick here. Rolling down, yeah, awesome. So we're jumping back into the incubator. Playing some Incubation, a game from like 1997 or something. Uh, meanwhile, I'll be listening to some real strange stuff, so yeah, you might not like it. Um, I think it's interesting and... Um, Revealing about the world we live in now. Is it necessarily true? I hope not. It's a horrible story But I can tell you this Hold on. Let me check my RAM here Let me tell you this uh, Nice my overclocks are going good uh, I, I don't for a second doubt that there is Lots of truth in it, in terms of the organizations that are behind all this crap. 30, Jonah in the belly of the beast, Spreaker. So this is right on radio. So 30, Jonah in the belly of the beast. Luciferian bloodlines are tracked throughout the centuries. Jonah is special, having all 13 bloodlines of the Illuminati, born spiritually powerful. He's kidnapped by the system. His mother, Tammy, tells the story. She names politicians, judges, and more who are involved. She has the proof. Hey, okay, well. Right on radio. Right on Cute. radio. How do... Roll ahead. And welcome to Right On Radio. My name is Jeff. I am your host. And if this is your first time, okay. please like and subscribe to this broadcast. You can find us on Facebook at Real Right On Radio and various other places where this is posted. But it's so Oh, important. there we go. Actually played both sides, said, no, 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 you have to you have to you have to abide by both states. But of course, remember, they're looking at people that don't have <coughs> wherewithal with the court system and don't. And you have, when you have a judge threatening you, I'm going to steal, I'm going to take your type of testing. And they have to get them between 18 months and two years old. So he literally said this is what they were doing. And they usually take them, I found out later, Interesting. to do that. So, like I said, I was able to get him back. Um, I, I, we get back to Alabama and... Again, um, we they had other attempts uh, to kidnap him over state lines, where it got the point where we had I had gotten the. Uh, I wonder how much the better this would look with 3D effects gotten, going on. Um, a, sure, would be nice. Uh, another another judge actually who protected us had gotten involved um, because it became. A, oh yeah. Kidnap him straight out of our house uh, in Alabama in February of 2010. And, um, Sullivan came with uh, this Dennis Denise. Uh, Nolan and, uh, and somebody trans person, Sandy by the way, Short, Alexander Sandy Short, another the East exit looks to be our man. only way out. And they literally Look, tried to keep, keep Dr. Reich in one piece, and that'll slow us down. There's what looks like a different breed of Skager around here, but they haven't made their intentions clear. I can still hear Kelly saying he has a pretty shitty feeling about this place, he doesn't know the half of it. Hmm. Move Dr. Reich to the east exit. Corporal Brad or Dr. Reich are killed in action. Equals failure. <clears throat> Tips. The platforms are too narrow to shoot the backs of the Gorther. Use them to keep the Gorther away from the units. Activate the defense mode for fighting the Saigu. Otherwise, they'll never take damage. Oh boy, that's fun. Now my child out of my house in Henniger, Alabama at the time. What they did was they also profiled us. They put us on the internet with 200,000 hits of saying, this is giving directions from the Birmingham airport, showing how to get to our house, showing how far the police station is, showing that we lived alone with my landlady. And so this other judge, he was aware that this was, and so was the FBI was aware that this was a type of profiling they had put Jonah up on YouTube as well by himself and something called, it was a code name. The name was Sully. And they put actually behind him a French 
castle called the Sully Castle behind him in this profiling him, saying this is that child from a that French lineage. Yo, what's up, Blitch Pike? Liner Volatile. What's up? How's it going? Welcome to the show. Other children this, that the same people had profiled. We are listening to a woman named Tammy divulge the names of people involved in a um, elite pedophile kidnapping Illuminati group. Uh, is it true? I don't know. Got to listen to the evidence and see if it makes sense. Other than that, we're playing some incubation. I hope you enjoy. And just for stopping by, if you hang out, I will name my next character after you. Isn't that cool? And if you hit the follow, you will get your name. Is it right here? Underneath my webcam overlay. Look how cool that looks. Hope you're having a great night. And they were Australian accents that they had in the background profiling other children and they called it november 2009 Oops. my son was coded sully was the code name so they knew that the federal people knew that this was profiling of jonah i don't know where to put my people not only just jonah but also to do a kidnapping out of her house and also possibly a rape whatever an abduction is what they were doing which i think i want to get on here happened. if i didn't have if this wasn't that i wouldn't i would not have had those cases literally open Okay, well. So so basically they were they had this online avenue where they were putting all of the hierarchy children that they were trying to abduct. Gross. By putting it online, it was almost like a hit list saying, you know help us get this child and you're you're gonna get a reward it's like ransoms and then so they were doing that on the public side getting everybody you know who's yes. into this same illuminati involved in the abduction and then behind the scenes they were also working through the government and the legal side to create all this fake paperwork and all these fake documents um, to make what Sullivan was doing lead. Correct, correct. And so to, to go to kind of fast forward into the second Beep. kidnapping. Sure. The second kidnapping actually is literally a federal kidnapping. They literally go across state lines into Alabama um, and they no, no, literally sure. uh, kidnap him over state lines. They, they literally... Great job, Dr. Reich. In front of the courthouse locked me in a front room and made it look like I was falsely arrested. Um, they, they literally, uh, this was a nice. Judge Whitman, he's okay, I like it. This would happen. He takes the drug. There is no court here. Go ahead and kill all these guys. The Sunshine Law, the 1930s, and he's back there without his robot. So he's not even acting in his capacity. And Sullivan's back there. And all right. Back there with his attorney Dana Grimes, an Alabama attorney, who's all being, who's all being, uh, they're they're did they're being given directions from a ring of officials in California as what's happening, and they so basically they're also getting instructions from another Yikes. primary group outside might the United die. States who is paying the secondary group is what I found out later inside the United States yes. to do all of this. And these are generational traffic mm. the Suttons, the Nolans, the Clarks, and the Sullivans. Okay. So these people are all working together and with the shorts. Let's go. So what they do is they finally get my son. And do you know that he is handed over to this Brian Sullivan guy with this with this the second Dennis Nolan and Sandy Short in a literally a police department dark parking lot at three o'clock in the morning. Now, if you talk to any officials, they'll tell you it doesn't work like that. The child is not going to be handed over by other officials in a dark parking lot at three o'clock in the morning. That just doesn't happen like that. So that's how they get into California. I am having to, that's called a legal kidnapping. So this is where they change custody in paperwork. They do not know this, you. You do not know this is happening. Brad died. Game over. I actually 
later on down the road, was able to obtain transcripts where the second judge that takes over for Judge Eugenia Irabidi in 2010, and he's a notorious legal kidnapping judge besides Eugenia Irabidi, and his name is Judge Gregory Pollack. He is absolutely notorious. He's well known for being one of the most corrupt judges in all of California. Sounds like a nice guy. We'll give him a prize for that one. So he basically says, hey, let's not notice her. She won't know. Oh, shoot. We'll come across state lines and we'll take the child. And she won't know that basically we're changing custody and we won't notice her. See, you have to notice people to come to court. You have to legally serve them papers that you are going to, in a normal custody situation, that you're going to change custody. Well, what's really interesting about Judge Pollack is he does all these things when he actually is not even, I didn't even know this, at the time that he is no longer a family court judge. He's actually in criminal court. So even more so, he did not have the authority. He didn't have the jurisdiction. He didn't have the authority. He didn't have the standing. He was all doing this literally illegally without any, any authority to do so. He's violating his oath of office. He's doing this literally. It's a federal kidnapping. There's no paperwork, no legitimate paperwork. I kid you not. There's just nothing. And they're doing a secret court, making it look like I'm married is what they're doing. Making it look like I'm his wife without my knowledge. Crazy. So, Tammy, I just want to just, first of all, this story is making me literally sick to my stomach. And, you know, I'm having a hard time even thinking about what Jonah experienced. But what you experienced at this time, like, obviously, you've learned a lot in retrospect of what has happened legally and everything. But at this time, you're being bamboozled by this system. And these are people with authority who, you know, we are taught that we're to trust them. Of course, we know now, you know, especially with talking with Jesse and some of these other programs that we've done to uncover this, that infiltrated every level of government and authority everywhere. And they've always got some. But so when Jonah is taken for the second time and you're you're being held like just what's going on mentally for you at this time? Pretty awful. So afraid. I know that. I mean, I'm in fear that I'll never see my child. So and I know nothing legal about this. And I did have people to Alabama that were helping me. And they're like, this is legal kidnap. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you're going to have to try to get help even on a higher level than this, because I mean, I even had a warrant out. I want you to know for with the federal people in Alabama for Sullivan's arrest and Dennis, Denise Glazer, a.k.a. Denise Wallach, Nolan. I have to throw the aliases in there. So other people who know this. No, 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 no. This is the this is nice. So, yeah, I had a warrant out for the arrest. These guys made it all go bye bye. They had all of the paperwork. That's the kind of level we're talking about. And so when I fast forward. Oh, great. Thanks, Dr. Reich. I understand that the third kidnapping before it happens, I had got help from certain ADA advocates by this time. You know, I had to go. I had to go into California and I had to try to get Jonah back. It made me play fake, fake custody court. I'm playing like as if I'm and I don't understand. I know it's all illegal. Now, mind you, there was no for movement left in Alabama. They said, no, we wanted Sullivan to come here and do a paternity trial in 2009. Do you know he was in contempt of court? Wouldn't go there to do it because he knew he wasn't the father. He knew he couldn't be the father. When I conceived my son, he was in Australia. So that's quite impossible. So, again, he knows he can't come here without paying people off and without them rigging the system. OK, which that's what they try to do in California. And after the second kidnapping is what they try to do. I'm able to expose that. I'm able to jump through all these hoops just to make a long story short with that. And so, again, I had going to Sacramento and I got papers showing that the Sullivan guy in 2012, which they they do not know. They might know now. I have papers showing he still was not even listed as a parent. And this these were under paperwork that's called Title 4D. OK, and that's a that's another 
leg of the case, and I'd like to, I will get into that, because that's how so many children are taken by CPS. Oh, they open themselves up to shoot. The kids for cash scheme to steal the kids to get through the courts, okay? And that's also another way they target children, literally in this country and in Canada and other countries, too. So, fast forward into the third kidnapping. I'm not sure that I have someone who's not a parent, he's not anything, and I'm, they have, there's no paternity, it's all, it's all fraud. I know this time, by 2012, I get him back, and I know I've got to get into federal court, and I was told, even by certain Alabama reps in Montgomery, they're like, you're going to have to get in federal court to overturn all this. This is absolutely federal kidnapping, you're going to need higher help. So, what happens is, I know that I've got to, I've got to open a case, federal intervention XREL. Oh. But what happens is, I'm trying to get help with some people I knew with North Carolina. There's also a ministry there that I was connected to called Morning Star Ministries. They happen to be on the border of Charlotte, North Carolina, and Fort Mill, South Carolina. I know it well, my life was changed going there for a cause. Well, there's a lot of amazing people there, but I'm going to shock you a little bit today. Some things I didn't know, too, but I'll leave that. No, let it fly. So, what happens is, there's people that infiltrated that church, okay, is what happened. And so, they were part of, her name is Gina Mish. Nice. I did not know, worked for CPS for 15 years. Oof, good stuff, Frank Castle. In California, she moved to North Carolina, so she's already in place, is what they're saying. She's in place, she's, you know, she's six hours away from where I live in Alabama. It was a, you know, short hop, skip, and jump to drive to North Carolina to go visit her and go to Morning Star. And she was involved in children's ministry, and I got to help do some puppetry ministry, because that's really what I wanted to go into with God TV. And so, basically, these people are kind of, they're like making sure they've got people lined up everywhere. Any avenue I go down is what they're really doing, okay. So, I ended up going to North Carolina to literally try to get help from some people I knew that were advocates in the area. Oh, nice, man. Now, mind you, I know I've got to get in federal court. The fact is that I literally am surrounded by people that were recruiters in the ring that were connected to the Sullivan, Nolan gang that were literally inside Morning Star Ministries, and they were part of Ohio gangs, okay. So, these guys are put there. What the frick? So, the third kidnapping is a kidnapping where it's a warrantless kidnapping. There was never any warrants. Oh, no. There was no paperwork whatsoever. So, they take Joan and I literally November 5th. It's a date that goes down in infamy. That's in 2012. So, basically, I just, I'm a day late and a dollar short getting into federal court. They grab him without any paperwork. All they have, they give the officials in North Carolina a letter from a Carlsbad investigator. Her name is Carol Schneider. She works underneath a nepotistic relative. His name is Timothy Sullivan. I find out later he works for the CIA and his real name is Michael Van Hughes. So, these guys are all part of the CIA, a huge trafficking ring of officials out of Southern California is really what it is. They literally say to the North Carolina officials, hey, hey, guess what? I'm going to send this teletype to you and we'll send you the ballot paperwork later if you can pick them up. Do you know they never did? There never was any ballot paperwork. Nothing. To this day, there was no valid warrants ever. So what they do is Carol Schneider gives the police in North Carolina a paper that says, this is Mrs. Sullivan. She fled the state of California in the middle of a divorce proceeding on May 2nd of 2012. And she got out of the court in Vista with her child. And they claim that I drove all the way across the United States. And I ran past thousands of police. Okay. I guess I'm super amazing. And I fled and I got past all these police. And I was running to North Carolina and hid in North Carolina with my son. 
is what they said, and that I was Mrs. Sullivan, and that I violated a custody court order, and that I was just upset because Mr. Sullivan got more custody yeah. than I did. So that's what they did. Sure. In the meantime, let me tell you what's In happening in North Carolina. Sure. They, Jonah gave his own testimony, testimony about the SRA. Um, Satanic ritual abuse. The physical, the mental, the, the absolute physical abuse of being molested by Sullivan and a person called Papa Joe, who's really a guy named Joe Moose. He's, pre he's pretending to be Sullivan's father. Yes. This guy's an old Boston mob guy. And he's he's one of the ring people. What he Make is. sure you pick so, your freaking mates well, guys. Like. Five at this time. The second kidnapping, he's a, he's, he's a, he's a mother yeah. turning three. The third really? time, he's a mother sure. from turning five. Okay. He's almost five, and he's testifying about what he's gone through with these people. Right. And I, one thing I, I miss saying, too, I want you to know, too, I I even explained to the North Carolina officials, I want everyone to know, I, had, I even had a case open yes. the second kidnapping of Jonah in San Diego with the DA's office. I have the paperwork to this day to prove that. And they even said it was the worst case of legal kidnapping they've ever seen. I wanted to mention that. Matter of fact, they were even laying the groundwork to take Jonah out of the country, and I have that paperwork. They were using a church, and they put down this guy, Sullivan is his father, without a paternity test showing or any paternity trial. It had to be in Alabama. So had, that's where the jurisdiction lies. So they, they literally were creating the paperwork with this transgender man, Denise Nolan Wallach Glazer. Denise, it's a Dennis. Dennis Nolan is his real name. Make it look like impersonating me as the mother. Now, this was a foundational way to start putting paperwork and passports together. To and they had already sure. created okay. like two other birth certificates that were ready that were counterfeit ready, birth certificates. I have those. Let's so go. they were laying the groundwork to do an international kidnapping and trafficking is what they were doing to take Jonah out of the country. I have medical records showing he actually had been he had literally been kidnapped out of the country without my knowledge. Now, I had custody of my child, so how did he leave the country without my knowledge? Here it goes. They also stole my original passport. So these are all these things. I ended up getting to the State Department in Washington, D.C., and I ended up getting a federal case open know, in sir. Washington, D.C. They open an international oh. kidnapping case. They also start getting the passport police involved. And they, when I was explaining the legal kidnapping, they corrected me. My father and my mother was there. They said, stop calling this legal kidnapping. This is not international kidnapping. Oh. At that point, they literally intercept Jonah who arrives in New South Wales, Australia on February, he leaves actually February 26th of the United States of 2013, after being kidnapped out of North Carolina in November the 5th of 2012. He's taken to California before he leaves the United States, and they do more legal kidnappings there on, with phony paperwork. And he ends so, up in... So he's okay. testifying in North Carolina. No! He dead. Thing, he's on a plane to California. From California, they take him out of the country. Right. Hopefully, when he turns around, he gets killed. Oh. So in North Carolina, they try to protect him. The officials there did, and they had a hold on him not to leave. So, um, and they knew. I said, look, I'm not sure. married to anybody. I've never been married in my life. Sometimes people die. So. Guy's wife. And so know, they sir. knew at that point that something that okay. this was this this was all fraud. Um, but they were up against their own people okay. and their own system too that were helping is the problem. So what happens is Sad. A, a police off a guy sure. named Johnny Trailer, a CPS guy in North Carolina. It happens though. Jonah, straight from the foster care home where he was being <sighs> So they literally he slips through the cracks, they get him back to California. Uh -oh. officials tried to go to California to get him back. They get intercepted by a, by the head of CPS in North Carolina, who's this alleged friend of mine, Gina Mish's uh, boss, and she basically hides her real identity. Her name is Lupita uh, Castro Zuniga, but she files her name as twisted around Lupita Zuniga. Ca sorry, Z Lupita. What was it? Z Castro is her real name, not Zuniga. Is what it is. That was her maiden name. So she thwarts them and says, no, 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 this, this mother's crazy. She actually, they changed their story. It says, no, 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 she actually lost custody at birth, is what their story is with Carol Schneider of Carlsbad. 
And so they actually commit a federal crime and lie to officials across no, state no, lines sir. now. Who One, two. On the back. And they're lying to them. And, and they literally, at that point, have a meeting which gets intercepted saying, hey, we need to take Jonah underground personally and permanently. They do this with Judge Pollack, and he gets caught. We have the transcripts to prove that, saying, let's take Jonah underground permanently with the DA, Jill Lindbergh, and Carol Schneider are all involved in this with Sullivan, Dennis Nolan, and the Sandy Short are all together taking Jonah underground permanently on December Crap, man. How do I run Frank Castle away? That, he disappears, and they ha they're hiding him. You they know? And then he finally leaves the country on February 26th of 2013, lands in Australia. He's profiled in okay. these photos on Facebook really? on sure. March 4th by this Sarah Francis, who we now know is a Sutton. Wow. There, there's just no words for it. <laughs> I mean, so it's... They're, they're, they're bragging. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They're proud. You know, I'd like you to go knowing a little bit more sure. of the story, because um, I think this is important for the audience to know. No, no, I mean, this sure. went beyond our judicial system. Um, can you talk a little bit about the high government officials in our own government who got involved um, in Jonah's situation and became part of this no um, nice international traffic? Yes. Yes. So what ends up happening is okay. this is under the Obama administration, first and foremost. Let me state that yeah. with HRC. So this, I want you to understand, I, I'll never forget sitting at the Bureau of State. Okay. Not just the State Department, but the Bureau of State. And mind you, they were also battling another team um, inside the State Department. Called, um, and they were called Children's Matters <laughs> that were aiding this ring know, in sir. California. I was getting help out. Yep, they sure were. Um, and matter of fact, the woman had a, she had a, uh, an acronym, okay. we call it a, an acronym, acronym name of, of uh, her sure. name was Chandler was Sellers. Sure. And that means child handler. It's like Rachel Taylor's child handler, is what it really means. It's a code. So she's helping them. And then I have a team on the children's side that's fighting for Jonah and I. And they're working with the Australian Federal Police at that time. And I'm working with the Bureau of State. I'm working with them. And they are guiding me. There's no instructions. To you. The parent gets, oh, look, this happens to you. Oh, yeah, you just do X, Y, and Z right here. No, no, no. I would have known to do any of these things if this, if the, if this team inside the State Department and Passport Police did not guide me, I would have never known to do anything I did. So again, and I even had an order from the Chief Justice out of the federal court in DC because they were talking to him, okay, in the beginning. So oh, the officials all the way up into the Secretary of State, as I'm sitting with the Bureau, we, we're, trying to thwart, we're trying to thwart the efforts of this ring from Jonah leaving the United States. We know it's going to happen. We're, we're, you know, he ends up when he arrives, and the Bureau says, yep, Australian government, they absolutely confirmed. And we're sitting there in, in D.C. that he made it there, and they're admitting it. And they show us the paperwork. And do you know, I have a copy of it. What? So <laughs> they both die. Okay. This is John Kerry signs this under Obama and HRC, uh, under that whole administration, signs that he was not a citizen of any country on the planet. Now, how did he leave the United States then? Now, I know how he left. He left on a private plane. And they used Sullivan and the Nolan uh, transgender person who impersonates me as the mother to Interpol. They go on a separate flight that goes through Hawaii and to do a uh, kind of a, a distraction, look over here instead is what they do. So, because this is a hierarchy child, so he leaves He leaves in the most clandestine way you can possibly imagine. Now, I've been kidnapped too, so I know I get the private plane, because it happened to me too. <laughs> Hold on one second, so, so you're literally telling us that really? sure. Senator John Kerry 
sign really? a passport for your child saying he was not a citizen of any country. That's correct. That's correct. And what I didn't know at the time is I was working with the really? U.S. Marshals. I sure. got them involved. These other people were not. In they position. didn't have sure. the U.S. Marshals. Involved. Right. So I got the U.S. Marshals involved. And literally, when you walk in the federal court, the U.S. Marshals Service is right Ready to your right-hand side. Let's go. Okay. And so um, they got involved. And at this time, I'm also getting slack. Really? Um, I get sure. slack from missing exploited children because I'm up against a guy named Ernie Allen, who's the partner of John Lennon, the TV show John Lennon. Yeah. You know, with their kids. So these guys are really partners that create missing exploited children. So you've got a fox in the hen house is what's going on. And oh, Ernie Allen is working with the Podesta brothers. Okay. And there's also a Rick Sullivan relative that's working with Great. them. And they are thwarting this case all the way to Australia behind my back. And I don't find that out until 2014, the following year. So you have had a huge, and we already know who the Podesta brothers are, connected to the Clinton Foundation, connected to Epstein, connected to Maxwell. Um, I found out years later through, through investigative uh, teams and organizations, my son ends up at a building that he's being held at literally in New South Wales, Australia, and it was the Clinton, one of the Clinton Foundation buildings is where he's actually held. Now, the, the, the trafficker, one of the main people they put in charge is Brian Sullivan. Sure. He, again, works in a ring. This is a guy that was actually um, with the Australian know, sure. intelligence, I find out, years later, working with the CIA, and they work yeah. with the FBI finders, okay? Division Always 5, ready, sir. Who, is, who literally is in charge of abducting children, not just through the courts, but off the streets, nice, really. or sure. just even through ministries, churches that are also running fronts, too. So this is for all the way down there. Go ahead. Yeah, for people who don't know, the finders were sure. um, the CIA guys under Nixon who um, were doing drug trafficking and child trafficking. Correct. Yes. yes. So, ladies and gentlemen in the listening audience, if this has not horrified you yet, you know, the, the, like this is this is so scary that it goes up so frig, high, man. And in this, like so nothing I can do. Governments and the three-letter agency that has been named here several times, uh, you know, in my opinion, is actually working not only in this case against Tammy and and her son, but it's working against the United States. Oh, great! And these people have been become so big and so powerful. It seems like there's nothing we can do, but have faith, people, because this thing is getting exposed, and this show is part of it. It's just a small part, but it's getting exposed. And the have faith, is like and these people. I don't know how God will turn this around. Honestly, I think we're at the end. Okay. We're at the end. Yeah, so, Tammy, if you wouldn't mind, I mean, I know. You know, so now we've got someone in Senate yeah. that you've named who was involved in this case. He was that in the State Department at the time. That's right. right. He was the Secretary of State, Jen Sanders, at the time, yes. But I'd like you to <coughs> really t uh, discuss really? the other individual sure. who now is running for a very high political position. Um, would you explain Joe Biden. In, in this case as well? Yes, so her name is, I'm sure that our listeners will recognize the name, Kamala Harris. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Kamala Harris was also involved. She was directly involved. So this line of command okay. uh, in California um, came, basically went all the way straight to her. And I remember really? even sure. uh, we were trying to, sure. and we were trying to file paperwork when I was in D.C. in 2013. Just to kind of give the I just to kind of give our listeners like <laughs> that anybody who has any doubt we when we were trying to serve documents out of Washington D.C. to her I can't oh, shoot she son really had uh, the U.S. postmaster in that state unscan documents that were served to her thank God we had people on our side that could prove that she actually did 
Yeah. She did arrive there and she was, they, they did get to her office in Sacramento. <coughs> so Good thing. that was the first clue that this woman is You're dead. going to help us. Little did we You're know dead. that she was directly involved. So what happens is I go through a kidnapping. Oh, game. And with some of the officials and organizations sure. I've worked with since then have made it very clear to me that they said, you know, um, you, your son has a case, but from the kidnapping they did to you and the false incarceration, using, using federal kidnapping to do it, you have your own case separate from your son. So it's very clear to officials that they, they, mm. they literally kidnapped me to basically criminalize me to cover up what they have done to the, to my son, to cover up the entire international kidnapping and trafficking of my child. So, so um, let's start with which came first, did they, the pr imprisonment or the, um, or the incarceration or the kidnapping? Well, they had to use really? federal kidnapping sure. to do the false incarceration. So how they do it is they, they get somebody to um, impersonate a U.S. Marshal who's a local, he's just a local Yahoo uh, detective down in DeKalb County, Alabama. His name is Josh Gore. Yeah. So he impersonates himself oh, as, shoot. A, as a U.S. Marshal. I personally think they should have got somebody who looked ex identical to Chuck Robert Reynolds. Okay. Josh Gore was a white-haired man with a white haired man. Right. Wrong guy. Um, very heavy set man, uh, tall, sure. two. Seth Reynolds was at the time was in his forties and he was balding and he was very muscular and he was about five nine. <laughs> okay, and so big difference. So, yeah, yeah, huge, huge difference. Okay, so he, so this is how they basically, if they had any real paperwork or anything real, they wouldn't need to impersonate anyone to pretend that they had the U.S. Marshal Service. So what they do is they literally drive away from the Birmingham location, okay, using Carol Schneider comes to, comes to Alabama. They hold me there secretly in a 91 days detention, which there is no such thing as 91 days without any warrants, okay. Um, there's no hearings, no nothing, and they, they kidnap me through three states away from the U.S. Marshal Service in Birmingham, Alabama. So I sure. turned this into U.S. Marshals, and they looked at me like, "You, you are, you, you can't, you're kidding me. You, they have only the U.S. Marshals would be able know. to sure. transport you, and you would, you would, be, the DA's office wouldn't be allowed to even sit next to you or talk to you." So did the, they said, "Did the man have a U.S. Marshal shirt on?" I said, "No, he just had a golf shirt on." Well, did the vehicle? What was it? I said, "White SUV." Did he have? Did it say U.S. Marshals on the side? I said, "No." No. Do that. That's All illegal. Right. Sure. You've been taken on a U.S. Marshal's plane. Well, why did they drive me away from the Southern United States Division of the U.S. Marshal Service if that was all valid? Because it wasn't valid. It was you. It was literally federal know, sure. kidnapping. And they put me under another name okay. in Alabama, the name of Tammy Reese, a known felon. Okay. So this is called fantasy arrestee trafficking. This is a different type of trafficking. Yeah. So they traffic me. Ah! By Putting me, hiding me in the system um, under other names. In California, it was Nancy Clark. I've even been hidden under a man's name, yeah. Ray Reef, sure. who's a real relative. <coughs> so they, they hide you in the system yeah, of someone yeah. else, and you do time for somebody else. Well, they're out committing crimes for these ring people. Because let's not forget, wherever you see any type of, happened, of drug trafficking, yes. You also have child trafficking. They go hand in hand, arms dealing. They all go hand in hand. So that's so you're going to have people that they can utilize that are doing drug trafficking or whatever else, other types of. of uh, so nice. Mala Harris was involved in. She oversaw the entire case with it with a money laundering uh, known um, criminal, a, a corrupt. Ready. Bad actor criminal, okay. uh, uh, who I'm calling her a criminal because she should be she should be in prison. Who is ex DA Bonnie Dumanis of San Diego? She was working with um, a ring of people that were money laundering through the cartel out of Mexico. And everybody else went to prison but her. So she's very well protected by Kamala sure. Harris, by the uh, the Pelosi system, the Getty system in California, the Newsom system. So this is 
the Newsome system. I should have known. Who's shooting all these things, man? Oh, there's four of them? Oh, crap. In fact, they held me under a violation visitation custody decree. I had every official you can imagine say, oh, my God, you can't even put somebody in a jail for one hour for that, let alone have a phony railroading trial. And guess who oversaw that trial? The same judge who's in charge of the kidnapping in 2009. Get over there, Tiger. Okay, so... They decide that they're going to put me on trial for kidnapping my own son <laughs> in 2014. In 2015. Yep. Really, sir. So, so, so just uh, continuing on the Kamala thing, just something that's come out in the last 24 hours. It's it's really about the connections with her her husband, who is connected with the Clinton Foundation as well, and so the ties run very very deep. They, they do. And I, I want to also reiterate something else, too, that she is also running um, um, a very, she's running the traffic for them is what it is. She actually uh, oversaw even the traffic of another child named Lexi Dillon. And uh, the mother is Ruby Dillon, who <coughs> has, is a very amazing woman. She's an orthodontist, and this is out of Orange County. So both Lexi Dillon, her daughter, and my son, Jonah sure. Reef, were both... Cases. Kamala Harris she made sure to cover up. We did it. She actually had a hand in the paperwork as well, all the way to Washington, D.C., okay. and making sure our children were literally internationally kidnapped. She was she was the one who hid even paperwork. She actually helped lie to say I was this guy and said I was a solo wife. This is somebody who, even in an appeal, you know what? Paperwork, Having listened to this now, I mean, it does sound quite possible. She uses, they, they literally hire. An attorney uh, named, his name is Raymond Mark De Giuseppe, who was Kamala Harris's assistant when he was working at the attorney general's office when Kamala Harris was the attorney general of California. So, I mean, you know, that's a conflict of interest. I mean, that's collusion right there. And it's also true that she's refused to prosecute any of the molesters. Oh, that sucks. Human trafficking cases in California. That's correct. She actually protects them. She literally protected the people that we turned in. Um, I know Ruby turned in. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Kamala Harris protected them. Um, she protected Brian Sullivan. She protected even the people that were in the district attorney's office. There's a Robert Sullivan that's working inside the DA's office that was literally overseeing the case with Jill Lindbergh. She got Jill Lindbergh, who was, a, who was an ADA at the time, gets promoted to supervisor. So anybody that got involved underneath this, they made sure they all got promoted. They made sure they all were taken care of really sure. well. Um, and they, I mean, again, uh, Kamala Harris is she's all the way at an appellate. Oh, uh, he's impervious? He's Shoot. Completely railroaded me. They secret that case, too. And again, she's connected all the way to these same people in D.C., the State Department, and the Secretary of State's office. I just want to bring out one important thing that I think people really need to hear and understand. So I'm going to put it in different right. words. Sure. Um, but basically yeah. what you're telling us is, you know, or what I'm hearing is you have documents that Kamala Harris has signed. That no! <laughs> All right, got to go back. Um and her name run away signed her name she did it's her it's her name clearly on the cover up and all the paperwork that's correct okay wow all right sure so another thing she also did was okay. um, when i was able i had a lot of people that helped like safe kids international a lot of media people helped get me out of california and i want everyone to know that immediately after that i was um referred to an anti-trafficking organization they knew they absolutely could see inside the system what this was all oh that was cool this was all collusion and that this was the mapping of me and immediately i became a client of theirs and, and so um, this case was so high nice even above us 
because the officials that Kamala Harris that's involved. She's oh, right! Mercenaries that are Knights Templar, fake police um, that she used, that she was using to send after me to do another abduction. Sure. Um, I had no paperwork getting out of the jail that showed I was even in there. I had nothing. And that was very concerning to me because they could make it look like I'm, you know, that I escaped Crazy. or anything else. But thank God we had a video that I had no paperwork getting out of there. So they were worried that they were going to re-abduct me and they were worried they are going to create another, either I'd be dead or something would happen or they'd create another false charge and make up some other paper wizardry. Right. So sure. I was referred to a, a State Department organization of people who partnered with special forces, who partnered with other State Department officials um, that did um, anti ah! and I became It's crazy the stuff that goes on in the world, man. Um, a case like this, yeah. and I, if this sure. wasn't uh, uh, this type of corruption and this type of collusion, this type of really? uh, high-level uh, activities that I could do, I would not have had these cases open. I would have not have been your client if that was the case. So at that point, I kid you not, this Kamala Harris still sent to my Japanese uh, mercenaries, and these guys were nice Templar police. She had 33 offices set up all over the United States. She still has them set up. She did get... 33. You can see this. Uh, Channel 5, KTLA, nice. Los Angeles. That her associates or assistants got caught running it for her. This fake police that was... Okay. The headquarters is out of Los Angeles. And they began being trying to oversee the police and the sheriff's department. Yeah. All right. Sure. So this is a fact. That she's right. running it. Sure. They were caught. Everybody else got trouble? <coughs> I'm just writing that down. I, I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna get that clip and try to include this in this uh, sure. just so you all also Listen. are aware, and I think I can say this, um, Jesse knows this. Excellent. We have a photo of my son and um, well we have various photos uh, of him which I can't, I cannot get into that, um, uh, most of them oh. I can't get into because <laughs> they moved him and because the people that were over the secondary group in the United States that are, that are outside the United States are such high level, they are probably the highest level people that are connected to the EU. So, and it's an open investigation as we speak, um, and they are connected right. to sure. your Bilderbergs as well. Yeah. So... But I will say this, we do have a photo that is my son that was profiled through Rachel Chandler's uh, model management account in 2017. And so that just, that right there is also, again, um, shows people that he is not safe and he is not in good hands. Um, he's not sitting in Carl's bag. He's not sitting uh, just like a normal child. Right. Like nothing sure. bad's happening to him. Yeah. So ready, that is something I want to make sure I mention. Right. Sure. Um, we also have photos that my son was taken really? also into Nova Scotia, Canada at <clears> that point in time with people that no one has any idea who they are or why they have my child. What was interesting is, okay. the thing is that Nova Scotia, Canada goes back to the lineage of the Knights Templar, by the way. It is a training yeah. center for... Anybody Nova Scotia, New Brunswick area, tons of Freemasons. I think there's only over f like 200 um, temples in this tiny little province. There's been a lot of <coughs> in Canada as of lately, and uh, and I understand that some dumbs and things like that in Nova Scotia have been recently. So. Um, there is some activity happening. That's where we had our shooting and our fires. 22 people killed by some psychopath. Probably active. He was also con a confidential informant for the RCMP. Obviously passed the tests with the giftings because there's a lot of strings, a lot of high profile people who have gotten involved to pull this entire operation off. What are the unique yeah. giftings that Jonah has that these people want. Yeah. To go into that, I would like to actually share a, a, a really? story sure. that um, to give you, I'm going to paint you a picture. Of, okay. In position. Sure. Um, 
Jonah uh, would do things before they happened. So, and as a matter of fact, there are other people that were at a house in North Carolina that weren't part of the recruitment. You know what? Sounds demonic. Um, and I saying these things. I highly doubt. I don't think God's giving people prophecies like that. It was given to the State Department um, and some affidavits from from one of them. So he began saying that the bad people are coming. Mommy, mommy, the bad people are coming two months before he was taken. Literally two months. And he kept saying, they're coming, mommy. The bad people are like, coming. Maybe an angel of God is warning the kid. How many cars were going to be but... there. Um, what it's also do, possible the devil's just playing a big trick on everybody, pitting him. his own people Actually, against each other. They just kept saying they were going to put rocks and rope on him. I do not yeah. still to this day, I don't know what the, actually that means, but he describes the, the police showing up, everything. This is two months ahead of time. Um, we had another incident where we were in a car, and he wanted me to know that the mother, that there was another mother there with her child, oh, right. and he... Sure wanted yes. me to go and tell her he shouldn't swing on the swing because he was gonna his he was gonna fall and his head was gonna be broken over open. But I was worried because um, I I just didn't, I didn't know the lady. Sure. I didn't know if I could trust her. I just didn't know. I knew we were trying to get help at that time. And so um, I I just I just didn't know if I wanted to do that. I thought, well surely surely he'll be okay. Let's just go over by there and we'll stand by the swing and make sure he doesn't fall over and we'll kinda but so I thought, okay, let's try that. I wasn't comfortable to do that. And so I didn't know these people. Sure enough, uh, I can't stop the child from yes. going too fast. The child is falling on the swing, breaks his head open. So it's just things like that. So he he had um, a, uh, what the secular world would right. call sure. a, uh, a psychic gift, what people in our world call it a prophetic gift. That's what I What's prefer happened, it to be sir? called. I know it's a prophetic gifting. They knew oh. he had a perfect he had a prophetic gift. I don't know, sir. Um, this is so good. that's the type of yes. giftings they were looking for. They knew that he could also see he could see into angelic realm on the good side and the dark side. That was very, very clear. So he would describe that to me. He would describe how many angels were in the room, um, what they looked like. My favorite story actually is, and I really feel like he could see Jesus. Right. And he said sure. to me, he says, I, I, I love Like, you. I want to know, is this Lady Latter-day Saints? Is she's Latter-day Saints, friends? I'm sorry, that's a satanic cult. And so it's surrounded by demonic activity. I said, okay, he can't be saved. And he starts to kind of motion, ready, like, sir. you know, a blue coat, mommy. Like, like he's motioning across his nice chest. Place. And it didn't occur to me until, like, maybe after it was taken, that he's yeah. talking about sure. a sash. He didn't know the word for a sash. So he could Let's see go. into that realm. So, Jesse, if you could kind of elaborate there, you know, yeah. what that would mean in the hierarchy, like, why that would be to them in that world. With those right. So, so for me, it was, um, for me and my training partner, we had this you know, very, very similar gifts. And I know we've talked sure. about this tea. Uh, you know, that was one of our main things was that we could hear, see, and feel in the spirit world. And it wasn't, you know, in that psychic realm or um, scientific realm, they'll talk about astral projection, <coughs> body and spirit separate. And All this stuff is satanic. Some people will view the spirit world from this separated state, but it's not that at all. It's it's very similar to, you know, like your physical Tia. place and yes. you can see your physical surroundings and at the exact same time you can hear, see, and feel what's happening in the spirit world. And it's kind of like a radio, like you're attuned to what's all happens? these other um you know spirits and not just um you know, fallen angels or angels or the Lord and Satan, but you can also attune into people and, you know, know you've got this foreknowledge of, of what that person may be experiencing or going on at that exact moment. And um, so, you know, for them, it, it was key because, you know, in my role, I had to be able to connect with Satan every day and had to be able to hear 
you know, what he was dictating as his agenda, and then I would have to dictate back word for right. word to sure. other people. You know, exactly okay, so she was in the occult at some um, point. The same thing would ha happen with some of the demonic generals or, um, you know, the government. Then when go. I got pulled into um, experiments like the Star Wars now and the Looking Glass project, Me. you sure. know, they would have us interface with that spiritual okay. world and then, you know, come back and basically recite word for word what I experienced was. And, you know, I believe that Jonah was up there. You know, I know it's documented. I had a hundred percent, you know, reciting ability, um, and others could confirm a lot of the details of what I saw and heard. Um, they experienced that with me, and um, you know, I can imagine that Jonah's, you know, really high up there as well. So, you know, they're looking for that because. It doesn't okay. matter where you're at, um, oh. you can have that connection anywhere and that's valuable to them for protection, it's oh. valuable to them if they have Craziness. someone who can communicate with the higher level people without actually picking up a phone, you know, there's no way, sure. way to track spiritual communications. Um, so it can What's be that? used in, well, All I'll right. just put it that sure. way or this way. Um, okay. You know what the government ended up pulling yeah. it into was, you know, basically attempting to use it as weapons. It was untrackable. The things that you could do or see or hear and report back, they could know what other people in other countries. How the heck do I get over there? Discussing, and then they could make plans based on those things. Uh, I'd like to elaborate sure. too. Um, there is a, we have another uh, inspector okay. that I think I, I know uh, that we work with um, that also oh, talked ready, about sir. she too was uh, used and what Jesse was talking about okay. with other children ready. where she would, it's kind of a remote ready. viewing, but they all have to stand in a circle and they're used to even take people out in that circle. So it's to do with their giftings. Creepy. Uh, and I'm talking about the, the Japanese. So that so that is absolutely a real thing, and it's done by done with the CIA. Um, they've been working with remote viewing for I mean be, I mean obviously since World War II or probably before. Yeah. So so Jonah would have that gift and again. So when I was a child, I could see those spirits in that Amoroso house. My sister could not. My I had a cousin the same age as, as myself, and he could not. Um, I could, my grandmother and I could see the same entities in that house that had, that were demonic entities. My mother had the same gift. Yes. So they were looking for somebody who passed down that What's genetic, up? that gene, Where's genetic the energy, that genetic giftings is what they were looking for. They were looking for, again, those families, when you go back in time, like the Habsburgs that we are related to, that we are genetically related yeah. to their they know that that goes back 14 generations. So if they thought Jonah was a special child to be born at this certain time, which I understand they do, they think he's a moon child. Um, and Jesse <laughs> can go in a little bit into more what that means. So that would actually make him also um, to be, I mean, uh, okay. more <coughs> I want to stay too. And he, he is even listed with sure. the United States government all the way up to the State Department as an H. And when sure. I was informed of that and, that and that the people that took him had diplomatic immunity and they were given diplomatic immunity by the British sure. embassy, I thought it would be the American or Australian, but it was the British embassy, interestingly enough. But they said, too, they said, yeah, these people yeah. Had, a, had immunity and your son sure. is listed as a, which means an HBA, which means high value asset. Yeah, so well, oh my goodness, oh. that's only a terminology usually that the, that. The federal yeah. officials oh, use and the CIA oh. uses. Now, why would, if Jonah wasn't up there, why would he be oh, listed in paperwork right. with our sure. federal officials? What? That code word and that coding and that linking to his name. Oh, for Pete's sake. So, I guess. I gotta pee, guys. Be right back. Enjoy watching Dr. Rake swing his gun around while standing there for no reason.
one annoying mission. Tell ya. Hmm. <coughs> to his name. I don't know, sir. So, I guess, Tammy, one of the things that I like to do, and, and I, I kind of always like to round things up and, you know, end on a positive note, and I, I know there's a lot more to the story. And by the way, I'm going to commit to keeping on this story. Um, I know yeah. I've reached out to uh, to Patriot Jane, who's been writing a lot about it as well and there, there's some other things i do want to stay on this case and keep it in the public eye so you have that commitment from me and uh and I'm, i could probably speak for jesse as well yes. but okay. one thing with, with such a, being such a high value asset that he is ready and willing i i just gotta give my hope and and i'm gonna say uh, in faith that i'll believe that this is protecting him and you know it's a they're probably trying to convert him and get him to be a cooperating person in it oh the um, things they do to make you an mk ultra I kid believe that at least you know just to, as one parent talking to another parent that you know perhaps this is his protection he's not suffering he's suffering not being with his mother and you know not growing up in a normal Me. life obviously sure. But I just want to, you know, hopefully extend some comfort to you. Um, not that I have knowledge of it, but it, I just feel like it. What a, what a goof. Um, I'd like to say what, what it does do is um, it doesn't, um, I'm, I, let me just state this and then I'm going to say something positive. It doesn't, I, from what I've learned, um, it doesn't limit me as the way he, he's going to be going through and he's gone through. But what it does do that gives me um, hope, okay, and hope Hope from the Lord is what keeps me going every day. And hope is that, that they're not gonna they're not going to sacrifice him, they're not gonna kill him because they need him. So that that is the hope that I know he's still alive. I and that's I have to say is um yeah, that that, that is the that is something really? positive sure. that they that we do have and I do have <coughs> going sure. for Jonah that and for my right. his mother, yes. And what about Pompeo's State Department? Me, sure. Um, Pompeo, um, well, Jesse, can you kind of help me elaborate on that a little bit? We we do we there's yes. you know they're still fighting corruption within the U.S. DOJ, so we we know we're still up against it with that. There's still levels that have been cleaned out that really? are sure. absolutely um, helping that are with the Pentagon. Oh. We know that are literally a driving force to something called the alliance and that is a, they are very real okay and so i do know that there is like people like mike flynn that really? he uh, tweeted sure. out i believe that like and that's connected underneath all of that with pompeo last december jonah we will never yes. stop fighting for you we will never stop Let's looking for you and trump put a heart on it so um it was like to me that those are kind of code words and kind of code to let us yeah. all know like we're on it um, that things are, we are well aware of the situation underneath Pompeo and what he's was underneath him no and problem. those that are military that are moving really? forward going after sure. the highest level of traffic. Like that. Well, sure. that makes me feel really right. good because sure. I, I'm very familiar with the Alliance and I have some, some pretty good sources there as In well. Position. And it? I think things Let's are, are, you know, coming into the wrapping up yeah. portion. Yes, and I hope it, you know, I mean, for me, a sure. hope in all this, too, um, you know, is that sure. Trump really? has sure. made a promise, and, you know, a lot of people don't okay. know the full extent of this, but there were things in his life, yes. um, you know, that really okay. motivate him yes. in this okay. to see that Trump, Trump was molested, um, he was involved in an SRA, environment to really? grow up sure. in, and, right. um, sure. you know, he's... He's several times since one. Um, he's, he's given his heart to this, and and the second thing is that he won't stop yes. until he sees every American citizen brought home. 
and um, you know he knows the children that. Um, it's this guy that it starts to sound like propaganda to me. Not that I don't so think like Trump might be, you know, um, the other good guy, not but it's just any country. I don't know. But they are with these children, and um, you know he's made that no his life's goal in this. Um, is to bring every it'd be one of the most so if they're left and right are horribly corrupt so corrupt that they can't divulge all the secrets of each other of the other because the other will then divulge all the secrets of the other and then it'll just be revolution again um so then like all you can do is release well that's the thing You got the people on the right apparently letting out these secrets about the left having this pedophile network. Why doesn't the left do the same thing about the right? You know, it's weird. Unless it's unless it's a big role playing game they're playing, and someone rolled three up, which means uh, I get to be the guy that's blaming you for pedophilia, and you get to be the guy that's blaming me for racism. Who knows? Directly with. Uh, obviously, Jesse can't go into too, a, lot, a lot of detail there um, for their safety. But um, we, uh, we would like others that, that would like to um, know what to do, what they can do, who would come forward that would join us. Um, I've been praying for um, that Gideon's army, even just 300. <laughs> so um, I, and I know we're, we're, I know we're, we probably have more than that, but, um, but, but I would love to see <coughs> people that would come aboard and that would join us, and so that we too would be um, a larger, uh, well-oiled machine that would be one united front to save our children. And, and how can someone <laughs> join? Then how can someone how can someone get involved on the team? Um, I let's see. Well, we have a couple of sources. Um, Jesse, I'm going to let you start with that, and then I'm going to list a couple of um, our like Patriot J. Obviously, is is also one of the sources that she's connected with a lot of other teams around the world that we. Oh, that is so with. dumb. Jesse, um, you have ways too that people can contact us. That is so to, bad. To be vetted and to be. Uh, and to and once they're vetted, of course, ready, um, the people that try to build yes. them also, um, that uh, once that's done, that would be able to aid us, sure. whether it's doing research, whether it's doing investigative, whether it's doing reconnaissance, undercover work, um, and even there's even teams that are looking at putting together uh, donations uh, as a type of charity to put together a, a place of refuge so we're all looking at putting something like that together in the future um we're also looking for um more teams of special forces to join us also so jesse if you could elaborate yes. how to how what, what's another way Let's to contact go. yeah um well before i answer that you know one of the greatest things what's people up? can do it you know it's been hard just to keep this story out there you know we've got so much fight Here. People are taking down channels okay. after we put the sure. story or the information out about Jonah. So, you know, please, I would encourage whatever platform you're on, pass the story around. Ask, you know, ask your family to listen to it. Um, you know, all the evidence uh, yes. Tammy has put right into our conversation here. Already, so you sir. have names of our government officials who are involved. Um, you've got names of, you know, the types of documents that they illegally did. Um, yeah. you know, the judicial system, everything's right there. So, you know, really Let's use go. this to show people, hey, here's the proof. Happened, um, this has been going on in our country. Why don't they have a website that just has all of this crap on it with all the documentation up with redactions here or there where it's necessary, you know? Um, it's kind of a closed source. So, you know, if you're interested in helping, yeah. you can contact Let's them from there. Um, we can yes. talk and I can direct you to All individuals right. sure. or sources um, depending up? on how you're able to, to help. Nice um, but the greatest thing right now is just pretty much oh. keeping the information going, um, keeping that alive. So I can't believe um, I, I do have, I this is how you finish by getting everyone to the Eastern platform. That's so dumb. Um, actually, they're kind of 
and they're really kind of sure. gatekeepers that uh, are able to take in information okay. also it's the find Jonah Reef um, staff. Um, another individual ready, that sir. works on a, on a, on a separate team really? that does sure. investigative really? work sure. that's uh, out of Canada and yeah. the U.S. is Karina yeah. Kane Ulrich. Um, yes. And uh, she can be, be. emailed. Sure. Um, no problem. I think it's human rights. Sure. The number four children23 at gmail.com. And she's also on Facebook, too. So I know that. So that's another yeah. source that she's actually assigned to her. Always so, ready, sir. Um, she usually sets up and coordinates conversations or sets up um, with the, with sure. the teams around the world to coordinate um, who, okay. where, where people can um, be. also be directed sure. and which teams they can be utilizing as well. But there is a vetting process. And, yeah. really? and if sure. you be. are trying to get in and we find out you're a phony, we will expose you. And I will get lots of oh. other channels to expose you as well. Roger. Your face sure. will get out there. Everything will get out there. So stay away. Everyone, will, everything will get out there. Meanwhile, they don't get everything out about all the bad people. Your time is nearly up. Repent. Oh my gosh, how stupid. Let's go. Um. Uh, one of the other things people can do, you know, on Twitter, I do a lot, um, you know, putting the four children's names, yeah, Jonah and sure. Izzy and um, Lexi, right. sure. um, and the others, you know, I, I literally will name the kids that I'm aware oh. of, and, you know, I will tweet individuals like um, Trump, Pompeo, um, Flynn, and, you know, with prayers or reminders, Ah, we did it, guys. Hey, as a U.S. citizen, I want this child brought home. Um, Mission A. Out of the hands of the people who are faking, you know, to be his parents. <coughs> it, it all was corrupt. Um, you know, it's time to bring Kamala. See, Harris see what these people don't understand. And, uh, is there like the time is almost up? We're the good guys. We win, and it's like. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Everything falls apart. Satan gets to rule the world for a little while to show everyone that he will never be powerful because God takes him out along with everyone else who hates God. Jesus comes back, flaming sword coming out of his mouth, probably representing the power of the word of God. And... Because the, the word of God is also called a sword of the spirit. And he just wipes everybody out and shows them in a second. Like, look how powerful I am. Stop trying to, for the rest of eternity, don't try and come against me. And so, yeah, like the whole idea that um, we win and we bring about a utopia. Bogus. Now, doesn't, that doesn't mean you just give up and don't try and help, but it's certainly, yeah, it's, it's real, real foolish stuff. And if they do win and some man rises up out of humanity or whatever and says, I'm your Messiah, that'll be the false Christ. All right, Hotel Charlie Hill. What's this? Heavy weapon proficiency, light weapon proficiency, medical skills, leadership skills, battle fitness, light weapon proficiency. Got no, okay, so, sorry buddy, you're gonna be, what is this? Heavy stimulant, plus two for one round permission. Oh, that's neat. I don't think that's um, a banner. What's this? Turns a unit into a squad leader. Units placed within three spaces of him will improve their physical condition along with both their offensive and defensive performance. Nice. <coughs> <coughs> Which, um... Oops! Can I undo that? Oh, that sucks. 
Yeah, I can. Enter a location. Heat sick. I just want to load. I want to load, guys. Crude unit. Back. End game. Load game. Mission eight. There we go. Our station supply base. Recruit a unit. How many can I how many can I take? Oh back, back, back. Undo. Okay. So I don't want to recruit any units right now. First, I'm going to go and what is this? Okay, he is a doctor or whatever. I want to look at their um select weapon heavy machine gun. Nice. Oh. Okay, so that would improve my uh, weapon proficiency. I see. What is this? Super armor, attack armor. Exceptional strong frontal armor with no back protection. Standard protection for units defends against most heavy ammunition. Fitness. Skills. Oh, a banner just makes you amazing. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to give him a sniper rifle. Time that you got something good. And what's a little skill points available and commendations? I think we got to give Brat a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yeah. Okay, awesome, right? Isn't this like the coolest game ever? We'll tell Charlie Hill. What's the bits and bobs there? Command unit? Yes, yeah, just give you one. I, I don't know what that does. Oh, oh! It's giving him extra skill points. Oh, that's... Eat, I guess. What's in my inventory? What is this? Back armor. Like, I don't even know. Hoggle list. Oh, I see. I'm not, I'm not sure what 
everything will do. I think I want to give Brat. Oh, he's got no thingies left. He needs three. I only have combinations four. Mm, I can only give two. That's pretty lame. Frank Castle has three power. I'm not sure how good that armor is or what it would do for me. Skill points. Doubles the amount of ammunition that can be carried for a weapon. Pretty cool. Targeting system. Doubles the accuracy of any weapon. Pretty cool. I think I want to give up that. What does it do? Increase the action points by one. Nice. And then last up, we got Mr. Jopper. He needs returns the number of units in close proximity. That's not really important. I mean, we'll see him when we see him and then we'll kill him. So I think he also needs this here. Command unit, buy item. Oh yeah. Um skill points required zero. Oh well then in that case. Just take it. Then with Frank Castle. Skill points required one. I want him to have this though. He's already got 15 shots. That's pretty good. Sniper, 15 shots. That's pretty darn good. I wish I could see like, what armor do I have? I think these guys all have standard armor. And I have zero armor. Oh, I can buy it without any points. No, that's light armor. Then. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. It's better than nothing. And then if I wanted to buy standard, 20 costs one skill point, and I have it. Light frontal and rear armor for units. Standard protection for units to defend against most heavy ammunition. Oh. Everyone's got that armor. Nice. And no points left. Light stimulant, heavy stimulant. How does this work? Increases the action point by two for one round permission. It just costs stuff. Oh, it's going to cost him skill points. Well, then, no. Light stimulant. Hmm. Is 
I already get plus one. I think we're going to be okay for a bit. Uh, how much is this flag? That's what I got to ask. A hundred. Oh, okay. Well, they're all right then. Stimulant. Wow, my guys are getting... My guys are getting kit it out. Kit it out. I wonder if the flames can kill the Gaither from the front. I bet. I bet it can. Lays down a carpet of fire in Mo, in Mo B. It's like Space Hulk. Save game. Mission A. Advance to the port. Lead the, lead the second attack path. Visit Rellis office. Okay. Hey guys! Hey, my head's a potato, and I got golden armor, so I'm in charge. And uh, look at my cool um, banner here. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? You think I'm just sitting by the desk getting fat? This is armor. Yes, sir. All right, good. You just do what I say and believe everything I say. Okay, I need you to get out there and kill more Gaith. Stand up straight. Ugh, I'm slouching again. Yes, sir. I will do that, sir. All right. Ugh, what the heck? The friggin' thing on the wall moves when I move? What's going on there? Oh, I wish I had audio. Yes, sir. Let's see if I can pause this and, and check it out. <laughs> that was fascinating. Jonah and the Beast. Hmm. Incubation. Cut scenes. Taste gone by the movie. All cutscenes. Injustice. All cutscenes. Doom Eternal. All cutscenes. Guys, one game. Offenstein 2, The New Colossus. All cutscenes. Avengers Lifting Thor's Hammer scene. 4K Ultra HD. <coughs> Incubation. Time is running out. Okay, okay. Narrated playthrough. Oh. Here we are, guys. What we, this is what we've been missing. This is what you came for. Oh, for Pete's sake. Sergeant Krieger is an asshole, Kelly. Yeah, well, he's an asshole. He's been down on the planet. 
Brown nosing trigger is never going to pay off, Kelly. You got to go after anybody's ass. I have to make you Captain Rutherford. Good morning, Corporal Brown. Isn't he Hi, Captain Rutherford. Good morning, Captain Rutherford. Eddie, <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. I was concentrating so hard on the walls, I didn't hear a thing. Yes, sir. Thank you. Corporal Kelly's going crazy up here. He keeps telling me he needs some horizontal exercise, if you know what I mean. That's oh, great. All I need is some action. Then I have good news for you. Pack your gear and rendezvous at the hangar. We're moving down to the planet. Is this their team? They're in, is this their team then, I wonder? Or is this the guys that are already down there? Fascinating. I'm gonna get a copyright strike. Uh, you played videos from a 24 year old video game? Gosh, oh no. It's a slaughter. I love those sound effects, man. Brings this thing to life. That's not nice. Thankfully, we can load, save, and load, and try again if necessary. Anytime we fail a mission, I've my die. My guys have died like probably nine or ten times so far. Time to kick ass and take names, guys. Right. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, cool. Okay. We find another one. I would like to, uh, Ooh, this looks nice and bright. Have a seen me allowance? Get up to a $2,500 gift card with Board Vitals. Hello everybody and welcome to my first ever narrated playthrough. Place your units. So here we have Nah, this doesn't look better than mine. It's one of my favourite games of all time. Incubation, the time is running out. Easily the best strategy game I've ever played. It the best year So who's winning how? Well he is really. What the all for that kind of prop. thing about the PBM matches is that they're co-op so in the emails you can talk about strategies on how to win the level what the hell is that oh it's advertising 
Mm. Hello, everybody. This is just a quick video. And you know, at the end of the last exactly what the two you'll get to see all but uh, it's critical in the situation I'm saying first see what that cutscene was like. Ah, Corporal Brad. I was saying first Valiant. Because the situation on Skate Hollow is critical and expected to worsen time allotted for training has been reduced to zero. We're going in forward. Great. And the good news, Captain. General Urellis has just appointed Sergeant Krieger as his personal General adjutant. As we have a problem with him? Awesome. Ah, the rebel. Because you can't get the news from the mainstream media anymore. Hey, есть штык нож. Безопасная ситуация. This guy is not English. Okay, here we are. It's one of my feet. One of my favorite games. Not. Isn't it, man? When you've lived in. Eight ads, man. Like, come on. Come on. Where are the cutscenes, guy? Good for him, though, for having just like these tiny little videos. Smarter than what I'm doing. I'm not doing this to update, upload them to YouTube. Just watch this video. I did not know you could spin the world around out there. That's pretty cool. I'll do that my next turn. Oh, look, someone else. My quality is way better than these guys, man. What is this? 480? Yeah. Best videos, guys. Don't ever leave me.
I guess what you got to do if you want to get big in this industry is put out good game content videos and then direct everyone to your, your stream channel. Hey guys, you like the video? Come watch me to stream. We can interact. And I'll call you fam and pretend I actually care about you and I really don't. Oh, what the frig is this? And I'm not saying I don't care about people. I just mean I know people are so... Hey, fam. And then kids are like, I belong to something. This family doesn't judge me. This family doesn't expect me to clean my room. <laughs> I don't have to take out the garbage or do the mow or mow the lawn. I like this family better. Oh my gosh, there's really a giant mech. This guy didn't save any of the cutscenes. He like he like had like a couple cutscenes and then that was it. Awful. What's the point. Well, that's sad. Ending cinematic. Time is running out. Time is running out, number one. 36 views. This guy did it, right? He got 28,000 views. Let's play Incubation Battle Isle 4. Calling for names, cyberpunk. Oh, wow. Put that on the watch later. Ooh, is this in Russian or English? Let's find out. Oh, he's just skipping it because he doesn't care. He's uh, he's playing the friggin' same version I am, the Russian copy. Oh, is there something I can actually listen to while I'm playing? Because, uh, frankly, it's boring. Oh, who is this guy? Bun in the oven or evil alien spawn? <laughs> That's very clever. Uh, watch next. Okay. Sure, we'll put this on. Oh, 
what can be deleted. Do a watch now. You're able to record yeah. now. Watch now. Uh, uh. Man, that that gravy, I tell you. Right. Angels waging war in the unseen realm. Global events fulfilling biblical prophecy. It's true. Oh, wow, guys. Look at that. Beyond what? From analyzing the paranormal from a biblical worldview to the discussion of cutting edge science and technology. Conspiracy, discovery, special investigative reports. Unafraid to explore the challenging issues facing humanity. Welcome to another edition of Skywatch TV. Is there an ancient mystery that predicted the very pandemic that the world is suffering through right Ford now? Ford isn't even in sight, more very this. deep in Skager. Dr. Reich says there's another species called Squeegoo, and he needs three of them for his research lab. Oh, great. He told him he can have as many as he wants, but every damn one of them is going to be tagged and bagged. <laughs> so kill three Squeegoo, reach the red exit area. Sergeant so Brat cannot be killed. Tips. Kill Gorther first and fast. Start shooting Squeegoo from a good distance. Great. No, 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 no. For sake. Don't worry, guys. It's done this before. Just end the game. Try again. I'm going to go to the second attack path, enter location. The board isn't even in sight and we're buried deep in Skager. Yes, I got to um, exit the program. Start again. Running as administrator, starting game. Oh, whatever. Before it is needed. Just need a little cool down or something. I don't know. Deploy your units. Joppa, Lieutenant Hoppa.
Look how far this guy can move now. He's a machine. And what does he see? This goofball just doing friggin' disco dancing. All right. Well, here's what we're gonna do. He's gonna, not gonna pop his pill. He's gonna run over here. Um, okay. No problem. Okay. Me, sir. I guess you could probably just sit here. How many bad guys do we see? Just the two? One down here. Oh, that dude's on the other side of a wall. No problem, then. Going. Yep. Keep running. Yeah, I didn't even have to... Ready. I didn't have to go that far. Okay. Ready and willing. Hey, what are you All doing, ready, man? Sir. It was. All right, time to get moving here. Come on. We got here. That guy, that guy, and something over there. Here. He sees him over there? Oh my gosh, I thought I was buying cover. Four out of twelve of his friggin' points. Better run. Always ready, sir. Okay. That was super dumb, man. Look at this. I don't know how these guys see me. Pretty amazing. Give you some rest, maybe. Guys lost one health point. What's happening, sir? This guy doesn't see a single enemy. He's just gonna run over here then. Come on down, friends. Yeah, you again. Okay. <clears throat> Frank Castle? Okay, good. Here. In position. What, you can't do defense anymore because you got a machine gun? That's stupid. What's up? Hotel Charlie Hill's got the goodies. He's going to run over here and hopefully not get shot. Really? Sir? What's up? Yes. Right. Okay. Here. Whoa, that guy's powerful. Um...
Can he see him? No, he can't. Oh, nice. Does he not have the ability to heal this guy now? Get lost. That's quite the sniper rifle. <coughs> oh my gosh, he's still too far away to do anything. So the standard assault rifle is not good enough. I guess most people that watch like playthroughs, they don't want to see someone talking. They just, you know, you know how it is. I don't know, sir. Ready. Oh, that's awful. Okay. Oh, those things are tough. What the heck is... Oh, his legs got blown off. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, I didn't know you could do that. That's cool. I like that. Really? In position, sir. Oh, you can't see anything. Ready. Doofuses are in the way. Ready and willing. Are you joking? Is it dead? It's not dead. What's up? Game over. There you go. Nice stuff, sniper. Move up. Get, get some goodies for the guys. Nice. Fall back. Oh. Nice. I like it. I like it. Really? Put you, put you on this and then this guy. Have him run over to here. here. Um, it, it does seem pretty obvious, but I think I'm just going to move him to here. And Sniperino is going to move up. Son of a gun. That is not good.
Run away. Yeah, we're going to just restart. Oh, what's up? Welcome to the show. I didn't know anyone was watching. I'm from Facebook Live. Right on, man. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I see what it's trying to do. No, I don't. The frick? Watching a broadcast and other viewers can see that you're watching it too. Oh, that's why. No. A stupid piece of crap. I hate Facebook. There we go. That's better. A stupid piece of crap. I hate Facebook. Nice. Um, mm, weird. There we it's go. It's like, why doesn't it take you to the That's Facebook better. aiming section, you know? I don't understand. Isn't there supposed to be like a gaming section now? How do you watch Facebook gaming channel? Click gaming video on the left menu. See more. Gaming. I'm not, this is live? Yeah. Oh my gosh, solo girls, PUBG Mobile. How pathetic are these people? Boy. Streamers? Church? Hotel Charlie Hill? There's, there's, Oh my gosh, Michael Hill. <laughs> so bad, man. What a Live streams. Oh, dumb. Streamers you follow, I don't follow any of these people. Games you follow, how do you know I follow this game? Hmm. 
Why is my gaming live stream not showing up in Facebook gaming channel? Play a game on PC or console, mention the game and console in the title. Access to a private chat channel, promoting these. They go live on Facebook while gaming. Go to the creator portal, create live stream, under choose where to post your live stream. Select gaming video creator page. Copy the stream key and server URL. Like, why isn't it automatic? I don't understand. Well, whatever, friend. Uh, you're probably gone now, because why do you want to watch a guy just looking at his streaming PC's monitor? That's not, that's not fun. Nothing fun about that. That's not oh, man. All right. Well, I'm back. Oh, now you're now you're gone. That's all right. That's okay. Oh, <laughs> maybe it was it was me. Me watching my own channel. Oh no. Oh, I see. I joined so there was three viewers then and you left and there was two and then I saw that and it's This is so dumb. This is so dumb. How do you play a game like this with... Remind position? What does that mean? Okay. Yeah. Try again. Lead the second attack path. What isn't even in Okay, so we got this dude, this dude, this dude, and this dude. Mm. And they're just going to run over here as far as possible, okay. which will then make the Gaither follow these guys, which is fine. Goodbye. Yeah. Okay. What's happening, sir? Here we are. Yes. Oh. Nice, nice, okay. Okay. All right, sir. Yeah. Ready. Always ready. 
ready, sir. All right, sir. I just gotta play the angles here, I guess, but I mean... <clears throat> it's just super annoying. I think what I'll do is get my guys up and then... I think that gives them one bonus move in the next thingy, so yes. going to be able to go to here, hopefully, and shoot this guy. Holy frig. Nice, nice. Now if he moves up to there, is he screwed? Okay. As good as the first time for me, sir. Roger, sir. Hmm. I think what I gotta do is run over there. All right, sure. Oh yeah, that's right. I got a box I gotta okay. open. Good thing these dudes aren't jumping through the air like before. you up to here hopefully you up to here and get you to here oh that's not good Punisher's just taking down the body can't taking out the body count. What the frig? How, how can this guy not shoot? Well, then you might as well move over here. Screw off! Oh shoot, I forgot to save again. Stupid, stupid map, man. Let's 
Save game, mission start. Uh. I don't know, sir. I don't know, sir. Yeah. Mm, I'm totally yeah. indecisive, sir. Always ready, sir. Yes. Me, sir. Oh. That's right. Unit. Good kills. Okay, so now. Now we gotta move. What the heck? Oh my god. Ready. Yeah. Me, sir. Okay. No problem. Okay, so that sniper rifle is pretty weak. What? How do you only shoot once? Out. Oh, he must have been on defense. I didn't know. Why is he doing that? To take two action points to use? It does. Okay. It does. Okay, cool. A re real cool. Yeah. No problem. What the hell just happened there? Again, in a panic. All right, then just sit there like an idiot. I can't believe this guy. Okay. In position. Always ready, sir. Nice place you got here. All right. Position, sir. 
Oh gosh. That's weird. I don't know why it wasn't affecting him, but it wasn't, so that's good. Won't back down. Come on over, little guy. Um, let's give this kill the hotel trip. Need some stats boosting. Okay. Oh, who's got the most ammo? Oh, this guy. Always ready, sir. Okay. Really, sir? Ooh, nice one, Chopper. I don't know, sir. They suck back, man. You're in a bad position. I'm going to... Oh, no, I can't now. Oh, he's a sniper. Right, he sucks so bad. Okay. Okay. No problem. Fuck... Where is my health? Could have used it last round. Why can't I use it now? Ready. Really, sir? Really, sir. Let's go. Ready. What's up? Where's the action? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, twelve and twelve. Do 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 do. Okay. There we go. That was a big mistake, dude. I don't know why you did that. Ready and willing. <laughs> No, you did not. Oh, he shot the guy that was far away. That's that's good. Okay. All right, sir. Always ready, sir. 
sir. Oh, that was so bad. Oh my gosh. I don't believe that just happened. It's... Let's go! What's up? I'm gonna give him some love just cuz. Well, at least he can move out of the way this way. That's... How did he not just destroy this thing? He's got a machine gun. Oh, yeah, mission accomplished, yeah, yang, oh, I got 15 kills. Okay, sweet. Power station, and we got the way to 4P. Save game, mission 9. Um, equipment points, we got people with skills, not really. Your location. Range. Somehow that only makes it seem out of reach. There are more and more Skager every minute and the bastards are beating the crap out of us. If we don't find and destroy every single entry point, we're going to be overrun. Okay. Oh, I just remembered. Gotta get my uh, stuff playing in the background. In 2012, Jonathan Kahn caused a worldwide sensation with the release of his first book, The Harbinger. He is held back from writing the sequel until the time was right. The time has now come. The Harbinger 2, The Return. The Harbinger 2 will reveal what... All right, destroy all entry points. Could an ancient mystery mines kill everything within the range of one field if activated. The diffuse mines use the hand icon. Judgment. Are we closer now than we were before? How much time is left? Is the shaking that has come upon the world a sign of warning of things to come? Could the global pandemic, 9-11, the financial collapse, and other shakings all be joined together as part of an ancient mystery? Discover the signs and the manifestations, the new harbingers, and the mysteries that have appeared in America and the world. All right, the game crashed on me again. I'll be right back. I gotta use the bathroom again. I'm gonna start this game again. We get into the game. Oh, that was stupid.
No way, I didn't want to. I wanted to go back. Press exit. Main menu. Exit program. Exit game. Start. And then see how long. So bad. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> Load game, mission nine, way to the fort. The fort is in range. Watch this. All right, we're back. We're back, everybody. Hang on there. Hang in there. Entry points. I don't know. And where's this guy? Is, is that him? Nice. Whoa, that's cool. What are these things? Oh, mines. Oh, good. Okay, all right. Cool. Let's go. Cool. Thanks for planting mines all around me, guys. So it sounds like the Feast Sergeant Brett is killed. Harvey is killed. Save game, mission start. Okay, cool. And oh, why did I do that? Yeah. In position. Looking for action. Okay. Anything within a field. I'm gonna put him into defensive mode so I can kill stuff as it's closer. I hope these aren't active. Uh. Here we are. Is that you, Harvey, with your light combat gun? At least you got whatever that is. Put him up here. Can't see anything. Oh, nice! It'd be nice to power these babies up, eh? <laughs> Cannons from Hoth and Star Wars: Empire Strikes Back, like totally and completely. Really, sir? You're kidding me. Mr. Hopper. Well, you'll just walk up one then, I guess. Nice. Nice. Oh, I didn't know those guys were behind me. Great. Good. Um. Sure, why not? Oh, you suck. In position. 
Oh, you bloody. Um, I'll just do this. Um, in position, sir. Where are you guys? Always ready, sir. Nice. Oh, they made it through. Sad. Oh, not that guy. He. What are you doing, man? You know I'm in the field, right? Where do the parachutes go? I wonder. Oh, boy. Oh, Billy. Um. Save game. Not bad so far. <laughs> I'm surrounded. Okay. Ready and willing. Just stay where you are. Let's this go. guy. Ready, sir. Hey, is there a... Oh, you can't go where there's a mine. Okay, well, that's, that's fun. No problem. Oh, that's it? You? Oh, you're nothing. Okay, weapons hot. Just uh, <coughs> move you over here then. Oh good, he's got full ammo. Oh, these are oh, these are ammunition. I'm an idiot. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. 
I think you're just gonna stay stay there and rest up. General Hopper. Oof, nice. Right there, dude. You got it. There's the action. <laughs> really? I uh, just keep running. Let's get a, get this over with. Oh gosh, do they see that free? Oh my gosh, he sees them. Stupid. Oh, nice. He walked up and shot once and just sucked balls, so that's awesome. This car squealing. Oh, they got to destroy the thingies. That's right. Okay, good. Um, you're going to run up to here. And you're going to... Run up to there. Ah, oh, heck, you might as well just run up to... Here. Don't die. Harvey died. Awesome. Shut up. Try again. Load game. Not bad so far. Oh my gosh. Okay. Right. Okay. Always ready, sir. Here we are.
stuff. Always ready, sir. Game over. Go play some. Get lost. Oh wow. Sir? Tough talking of it. Oh, it's one of those guys. What? Uh... Oh, thank goodness. Let's go. Okay. Weapon damaged. Yeah. Oh dear. Um <clears throat> Not good. If I can put him there. Thank goodness. It's like, when is they gonna die? Yeah. Oh, that machine gun sounds awesome. Okay, how's this guy blow these things up? Nice. <laughs> That's it. Ooh, I love it. Let's go. This guy's got tons of ammo. But his skills going up too. It's beautiful. What's happening, sir? I'll tell you what's happening. You're running over here. You got me? Ah, okay. uh, you're stuck. You suck. Yeah. Equipment for the team. Now run back. Alright, 
Your gun sucks, man. I should just hide him, run away. He's in a panic. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. In position. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, whoa, what just happened there? Out of ammo. Sucks. Ooh, <laughs> hi. Let's go. What's happening, sir? Oh boy, there's bad guys there. Not good. That dude did a major play there. You didn't notice. Always ready, sir. B, sir. That's what's happening, sir. Go play somewhere else. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Nice moves. Nice place you got here. Ooh yeah, increasing in skill levels. Right. Rest. Okay. Next. Yeah. Defend. Oh boy. Yeah.
Yes. All right, so we got 32 kills that game. Just milking them. I think I'm going to upgrade my dudes, and that'll be it. Power station supply, and then front of the something rather. Mm -hmm. Saving game as mission 10. You never know what might happen. Don't want to crash. Okay, going up to the big fat stockpile. I wonder if we got Harvey didn't get to come with us. That's not cool. Um, at units in squad for grid positions on a map. I guess it's seven, so I could have theoretically seven. But let's see here. Got three commendations. Cannot commend the unit though. It's sad because I want to give him. The amazing thing, he doesn't get skill points. He needs lots of skill points. He only gets one command too, that sucks. So, Oh, he's got the heavy stimulants already. That's awesome. Scan modules. Don't care. I think I'm going to buy a servo unit. I should buy the servo unit for Brat, too. Can't do it. I think I got everything I want for these guys. Oh, it upgrades it. Okay, well now you know. Kind of a waste. Heavy weapon, very short range, limited ammo, heavy impact. Lays down a carpet of fire in mode B. Maybe our, our maybe whoever we uh, recruit will get that. Cause, you know, it is what it is. General Hoppa! Oh man, 1205. Recruit a unit. Who was watching earlier? Forget. Users in the chat. A1 bear. Users in the chat. Oh, you know what? Oh, well, we'll just have to do that later. A1 bear. Cool name, man. And. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Don't want to drop my paper towels that I use to keep my, my hands off my desk. Um, it's got zero skill points. What's going on with my... Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's why. 
<laughs> I didn't press enter yet. Acquire some skill points to get. Oh, he still needs some serious skill points. Zero skill points. I don't want to give him any commendations. I'm just gonna exit. Save game. Mission 10. Alright, guys. God bless you. Have a good night. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm sure it was ravishing. Is that the right word for it? I don't know. Um Right. Check out my blog. Check out follow on Twitter. Follow on Twitch. Follow on YouTube. You can see all the past VODs there. And like the Facebook page. God bless. Good night.